Typically, if you are solving questions on circle theorems, we are given a diagram in which we are given some labels and some definitions, some angles, and we have to calculate some other angles and code. But in this particular question from the Wai 2017 Mathematics Theory paper, that is not the case. What we have here is a word problem in which we are to get the diagram ourselves and find the solution to the questions that we are given. So I want you to pitch in and let's get set so that if subsequently you are having a question like this, you will be able to know how to handle them, how to tackle them effectively. Alright? So let's look at the question together. Here in the question, we are told that PQ is a tangent to a circle RST. So first, you need to understand what a tangent to a circle is. A tangent is a straight line that is drawn to join a circle only at a single point on the circumference. Okay? So we should note that. Then we are told that PRT is a straight line and angle TPS is equal to 34 degrees and angle TSQ is equal to 65 degrees. So we are going to illustrate the information in a diagram. If first, we want to identify the tangent PQ. But I want you to notice something. We are not only told that PQ is a tangent to the circle RST at the point S. We are also told that PRT is a straight line. So P is a focal point of interest that we need to take note of that. Yes, P will be a point on the tangent. It's also going to be another point that is going to define a straight line passing through the particular circle that we are given. So if you have this as a circle, so we have to draw the line PQ, which is going to be a tangent to the circle. And like I defined before, that is only going to touch the circle at a singular point on the circumference. So this can be a good representation of our line PQ. Okay, so we can label it appropriately and say this point is where it's starting from P and here this is Q. But look at the question. We're told that it is a tangent to a circle RST at point S. So the point where it is touching the circle here was defined as point S. Okay, then we're furthermore told that PRT is a straight line. So PRT, look at this. Now we have R defining one point on the circle that's why we're giving the circle to be rst but again we're also told that prt is a straight line so whatever that point r is which is on the circle is also going to be defining another line a straight line coming from p so we want to draw that line from p and i'm saying this is p and i'm going to draw another line say something like this okay okay i think it should be good. That means I can look at this particular circle and notice that since the circle is defined as RST, now the order is also very important here. Students, don't make the mistake of just putting the order anyhow you want. We need to follow the convention that we are giving. R should be the beginning at the point that we are noting our circle. S is another point and T is another point. And now we have defined S already along the line PQ. Now we need to define the circle which is RST, but we also have another straight line PRT. So this is P. Already we have S, which is part of the circle, but we still need R and T. And since R and T are reflecting on that straight line, that means this point here will have to be our R. So this here is our R. And the other point, this will have to be our point C. And we just need to look at this diagram to see if this definition is well justified. So we have PQ as a tangent to the circle RST, okay, at the point S. So at this point S, then for that one, we have PRT to be a straight line. So PRT is a straight line. That is quite good, very interesting. And then we are told that angle TPS is 34 degrees. How do we define angles? Like this whenever we are giving in our question i want you to have a very good look at what i'm going to do now i have tps the mid letter happens to be the point where the angle is being taken and the two other letters are the points that are flanking that particular angle so tps that means we are going to be looking at p okay so we need to look at t and there's flanking it so this is t and this is s. the angle in question is angle t p s so this here is the angle that was defined to us as 34 degrees okay and then we're also given that t 
TSQ is 65 degrees. So how do we get TSQ? We need to draw a straight line from T to S so that we can define TSQ. You don't take angle on the circumference of the circle, okay? So if you want to take that, we can just say from T, we can draw a straight line to S so that we can have our TSQ to be the angle from this tangent to this particular chord of the circle and that was given as what angle 65 degrees all right okay so the very first question we're asked to evaluate that we should illustrate the information in diagram is as good as dusted and this is the solution to that now we need to find the value of angle rts and angle srp let's look at the question together what is rts this has to be rts okay so we are looking for this angle here i can call that x okay that's angle rtx so i can say from my diagram i've been able to define that angle rts that we are looking for is equal to x okay so now looking at this how do we solve this particular question to find the angle rts there are quite a number of things that we could have postulated but looking at this we can see that we have a triangle p s t look at this p s t this is constituting a triangle okay and from that triangle we can see that 34 degrees and s are two interior angles of the triangle and this angle 65 degrees is an exterior angle of that particular triangle so the sum of the two opposite interior angles is equal to this exterior angle of the triangle so you can say that the angle tsq that we are given the angle tsq is going to be the sum of the angle tps that we are giving angle tps plus the other angle that we are looking for r T S this angle S plus angle R T S and student is always a very good thing for you to state the reason why you are postulating all of this and here is because the exterior angle exterior angle of this triangle we are looking at is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles or the two opposite interior angles so Understanding this property of a triangle can help us to solve this. Alternatively, you could have said on the straight line PSQ, that's a straight line, and the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. Now we can take 65 out of 180 degrees to get this particular angle. Then this angle that we just found, we can add it to 34 and X and equate the 3 to 180 degrees because we know that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees if you do that you're also going to get the same thing but this is also consistent that the exterior angle of a triangle this in this case this is five degrees is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles so we can say moving on with that tsq which is the exterior angle 65 degrees is equal to tps which you have been given to be 34 degrees plus the angle we are looking for RTS was angle RTS. So we can just solve angle RTS in this case to be 65 degrees minus 34 degrees. And 65 degrees minus 34 degrees is nothing but 31 degrees. So this is the solution to the first question that we are asked to solve, and that is as good as done. We can just label this to be so this is 31 degrees all right and that is done but we still need to find srp so moving on we can say we want to look for angle srp we can denote that as y so first and foremost you need to identify that angle srp on the diagram and you don't take angle on the circumference of the circle we need to define straight line okay at least two straight lines that are bordering on the angle for us to take that angle so 
you want to take SRP, this is S, this is R, and this is P. We need to have a diagram, a line joining S and R that we can use to get this particular angle that we can now call angle SRP. So I can just call this angle the angle Y. I can just shade that so that students can be very clear for you. Yes, it's a combination of those two. All right, so that is the angle SRP that we are looking for. And looking at this, how do we get this angle SRP? There's something I'm seeing here. If you look at this particular diagram, I can see that easily we have an alternate segment theorem that is coming up, okay? And the question is, what is the alternate segment theorem that can help us to solve this particular question? Looking at the tangent PSQ, we can see that the angle between the tangent and this particular chord, ST, that's a chord, and PSQ is a tangent. The angle between them is 65 degrees. By the alternate segment theorem, we have that the angle between the tangent and the chord of a circle is always equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Okay, so a chord will divide a circle into two segments, a minor segment, the smaller one. This here is going to be the minor segment. So let me just let me just denote that in some light color. So so here being shaded just as you are seeing this is a segment, a minor segment, in which this particular chord ST is dividing the circle to this minor segment and the other half that is not shaded, okay? Now, the angle between this particular tangent and this particular chord of this circle is 65 degrees. So, this 65 degrees is also going to be reflected here as an angle in the alternate segment. So, this is also... 65 degrees. So I can say by the alternate segment theorem, the angle TSQ that we are giving to be 65 degrees is also equal to the angle SRT. And both of them are going to be 65 degrees. Why am I postulating this? Is because it is the alternate segment theorem that is helping me to postulate that particular theorem. That is what you need to understand. To be able to solve this question and once you have defined that you can see readily that the angle we are looking for the angle srp which we have denoted as y this srp okay plus the angle srt that we just got to be 65 both of them constitute angle on the straight line prt and the sum of angles on the straight line is nothing but 180 degrees so I can say SRP and SRT, the sum up to 180 degrees because they are the sum of angles on a straight line. So these are the theorems that we need to understand so that we can easily solve questions on circle theorems. And this is as good as it gets. So once we have done that, we can just say now the SRP that we are looking for, which is Y, is equal to 180 minus angle SRT. So that is going to give us 180 degrees minus SRT, which is postulated to be 65 degrees. So in that case, the angle SRP is 180 minus 65 is going to be 115 degrees. So 115 degrees is the value of SRP and we have gotten RTS initially as 31 degrees and we have been able to use our understanding of the information that we are giving to get this particular diagram and we are able to illustrate the information in the diagram as shown. So these are the kind of videos that we constantly upload on Dave Tutor Academy so that they can help you to build your proficiency in your STEM subject and be the best that God had created it to be. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, it is free of charge and it's not going to cost you anything, but you will have information and access to all of our videos once we upload them. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, click on the notification bell so that you have notifications of our videos once we upload them. And until next time, God bless you.